So I get asked sometimes, what are your thoughts about the National Geographic series that was on for a few years, um, the Doomsday Preppers? Um, I have some thoughts, not too many on it. Uh, I have watched a few of the series. I can't tell you that I'm like a real big fan at all. Um, the people who actually ran some of the uh, the shows, I guess, uh, I don't know if you would call them the host or um, if the people who kind of did the grading or scales uh, to figure out at what level of preparedness. I think some of those individuals are, are pretty cool people. I think that they're a little bit um, over the top about some of the things that they and how they go about things. But that's just my opinion. Um, I think what the show did, the Doomsday Prepper show, was to stereotype prepping communities. It didn't help anything. Uh, if anything, it kind of made people uh, look a little bit more uh, unbalanced, uh, extreme, and socially odd for those that are in that whole category. Now, the people that they, they picked were extreme on purpose. I think it was more of an entertainment value uh, and, and not so much an educational value or even a glimpse at what a real prepper would be like and how they actually live. You know, because it is a lifestyle. Uh, all I wanted to do was uh, hyper-focus on one niche of prepping, and, and that was it. You know, and maybe for a, a very small or short length show that only lasted for, you know, a specific amount of time, you know, you can't go into general prepping maybe, but I think you could. I think you could have just, um, you know, gone without all this uh, extreme, of course the show was called Doomsday Preppers for a reason, but, uh, you know, it just didn't help anybody with that. Uh, everything was extreme and too far and the personalities were a little bit uh, off kilter. I don't think everybody, you know, that were on the shows, um, you know, was really all there. Um, and the next thing was, um, I would have to say that uh, in closing, uh, this this whole thing was just purely entertainment, like I said. And uh, I don't take, think you would take it seriously. Is there a few points here and there and a couple ideas that, that popped up that were somewhat entertaining and, and maybe even educational or gave you a little bit of a pause and, and you were like, okay, that could be interesting. Maybe, maybe, but I didn't walk away from it like enlightened so much that I had to write a book about it and go, oh my God, I got to call all my friends and tell them, you know, or make, uh, you know, uh, you know, multiple YouTube videos because of it. Uh, it's just something that, you know, you'd watch when you're in bored in the middle of the night and you're into this uh, prepping field and you just, you're just curious about what people do that are, you know, totally off the wall and, uh, you know, everybody's different. And I'm not saying every person on the show was was weird and odd and, and unbalanced, but uh, the great majority were, at least how they were portrayed by National Geographic. Uh, National Geographic, in my opinion, is just a, a, you know, a globalist, you know, type of corporation. I don't have any respect for National Geographic. Maybe when in their earlier years, I think they were much more, uh, you know, clean and pure in, in their approach on uh, journalism and uh, maybe their, their coverage of events, but I wouldn't give them a penny for their magazines or I wouldn't watch any of their shows. Uh, is there stuff that they have of value, maybe some educational content from time to time, like on the channel, uh, the National Geographic you know, channel? Uh, maybe, maybe so, but I'd be careful, you know, what kind of propaganda that they push, especially in front of your kids. Uh, so check them out, uh, the National Geographic, and do your own research and see that their, uh, their agenda is not... Uh, not always what you would think it is. Uh, look at who uh, supports and backs them and who owns the National Geographic Channel. Uh, it's pretty sad and sickening. Uh, the media in general, though, is just pretty sad. So uh, everybody be safe and uh, try not to watch the Doomsday Prepper show. It, uh, it pretty much isn't good for you. It sucks.